Oh god! It's a lot warmer here, isn't it? Dude. <laughs> Holy crap. You ready to get on some iguanas? Let's do it. Well, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And as you can tell, I am not in the snow anymore. I decided to get out of there and do something different. For the last like four years or so, I've been doing the same thing every spring. Just hammering the walleyes, burying the cold, yada yada, you guys know the deal. But I decided my good buddy Tristan and I, <laughs> AKA Yappy, his channel will be linked down below, were like, dude, we should meet up and film something. And he actually had the idea of going to Florida and hunting iguanas and just a bunch of invasive things maybe do some fishing and i don't know just escape the cold and film some florida stuff so that's what we're doing right now i just flew into fort lauderdale and yeah you picked me up here it? oh dude left. this morning was freezing it was so cold i didn't want to even like, get the camera out yeah. that's how freaking bad it was yeah. But you're, you're used to this because you're from Georgia, right? Yeah, well, I, when I left, it was rainy and like oh. 30, 40 degrees. So it was it was a lot colder than this, but... This is nice. 85 <laughs> degrees. You can't perfect. complain, man. Yeah. yeah, just look at this. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Nice and sunny. Oh, some palm trees. And uh, yeah, just some crazy drivers. But guys, welcome to Florida. We're going to go meet up with somebody and kind of tell you a little bit more what we're going to do this week. baby we are not in North Dakota anymore well Tristan and I just got some food and we made it so we came down here to hunt iguanas now I had to get a professional to help us learn why people are hunting these uh, why they're a problem and what is the correct way to do this so I actually got in touch with my good buddy Harold over at Iguana Lifestyles he'll be linked down below he has his YouTube channel and he also runs a guide service or even like a pest control type of thing too. So I'm gonna kind of turn the ball over to him and he's gonna explain what we're doing today and the next couple days, as well as how we're gonna do it and why we're doing it. Well, this is the man of the hour, my buddy Harold, the Iguana Lifestyles guy. And can you tell us a little bit about yourself, I guess? Yeah, so we basically do two things out here. We're a full-time trapping company doing wildlife removals, focusing on invasive and nuisance animals. And now we've turned it into a guide as well because people want to come out here and hunt. Because there's only two places you can really hunt iguanas. And that's Puerto Rico or Florida. So you're very limited on where you can go. But we're not out here just shooting them to shoot them. Basically what they're doing here is a lot of damage and they're a big threat on our, our native species, such as the gopher's tortoise, uh, the burrowing owl, and the Miami blue butterfly. They're They're all being threatened because yes, iguanas are supposed to be, what is it? They only eat vegetables and uh -huh. fruit, but guess what? That's where they belong. So when they come to an environment that they don't belong, what do they do? Adapt. So they're no longer that. They're now omnivores. They're opportunists. They're now going for duck eggs. They're eating their young. Second, they're fighting for territory and they're competing for food. And on top of that, now they're getting into people's toilets so make sure you guys check your toilets before you sit down um, they actually is a true thing the Mexican spiny tail comes in through the toilet we're having them getting into power lines and generators and people causing out allergies and then the most expensive thing is right here on these canals especially right now it's the season for uh, for them to lay eggs so what they do is they like to dig holes four to six feet and then it's like a labyrinth interconnecting up to 80 feet so what happens when it rains? You have collapsion, erosion, erosion, and we're losing land. For one block, for some company to come out and give you land again, $100,000. That's crazy. So Much, they're doing a lot of damage, is yeah, what you're saying. And, yeah, and us taxpayers are paying for it. This is like, they don't know what to do no more. They've already dug them out, sucked them out with vacuums. They came back. They sucked them out again and put a plastic mesh. They dug through it. Now they're putting concrete and they're getting through it. So that was kind of a cool little bit learning about, you know, how they got here and what they're doing and what like, I guess the damages are to this. So they are an invasive species and like every other invasive species, you have to uh, keep the, the circle of life going and like kind of keep it all, yeah, keep it all managed. But um, basically there's a bunch of different ways you can hunt these. We're gonna be doing in a very urban way. So this is kind of weird and new to me. 
uh, basically there's a canal right here and there's buildings all over and stuff and we're gonna be walking around with pellet guns, uh, air guns, I'm gonna have him show you what we're gonna be using uh, to, to take these animals. But essentially, we're gonna be walking around shooting iguanas today. So you guys stay tuned, it's gonna be a good one. So like he said, you think everyone knows that we're using air rifles? Absolutely not. So to avoid any problems, avoid any confrontations, we're gonna call ourselves in to the local PD. So we're in day Yeah, D. so step one before you hunt, call yourself in. And this is. Can you please for a minute to Shelby? How can I help you? Oh uh, yes, I want to make sure this is dispatch. Yes. How are you doing this evening? Good evening. Good. Uh, my name is Harold with Iguana Lifestyles, and I just want to report myself in that we're going to be removing some iguanas on. And. Hold on one second. Yes, ma'am. No problem. Mm, bye. So we're good. We're, that's it. We're good, we're safety. So now what's gonna happen is we're not gonna be bothered, but they are gonna be bothered for two hours because you have one road, two roads, and I promise you, you're even though we're wearing all this stuff, <laughs> we're we have three hooligans running around with AR 15s. That's what the call is about to come in. Yeah. But now they know it's us, and for some reason that there is a problem and maybe they don't think it's us, they have my direct number to call me. Hey, are you on this app now? Absolutely. Our toys for today. What up, Daddy? It's a camo bone collector Gen 3. Dude, this so these are are, are these uh they're pellet guns? Is that pellet what they're considered? Guns. Okay. Absolutely. And see we're not out here being cowboys, because the worst thing to be out here is using a slug, because a slug will skip all over this water. So we're using a ballistic tip called red fire pellet, meaning that's a ballistic tip. Once it makes impact on the animal, it retracts, expanding the pellet to reduce pass-throughs. Ah. So I don't want something skipping and hitting someone's car. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna start our walk. We parked the cars right here, and we're gonna walk this canal and just see what we can see. I'm gonna let Tristan shoot first, and I'm gonna get some big camera footage, but Daddy will pick up the gun eventually. Technically, it's not a gun. All right, we just saw like three iguanas. Yappy's gonna see if he can get a shot here at one of them. What is going on? This is weird, bro. This is really weird. <laughs> it feels like you're in the Sims, huh? Yeah. So they all went into these bushes. This is what, bro? This is crazy. Like. Oh. oh God. Oh, nice. Nice. Woo, we got what one. <laughs> first iguana. Dude, no. your Dude, first iguana. A, yeah, first iguana. That's We're passing. They're there. They're in kind of, Dude, the trees there was a huge one. I think you're up. I'll be honest, boys. Like, Yappy just shot one, and he shot one off camera, so he's two for two. I haven't even pulled the trigger yet. I'm a little nervous because I got big shoes to, to <laughs> fill over here, a big shooter. And I have, like, the worst eyesight okay. ever. All right, I just seen one. I just went seen one go into the bushes over here. All right. Well, we're going to keep looking. It's funny you do this like for squirrels, but it's weird doing this for iguanas, you know? It's hella weird. Huge, huge. Where? Right here. Come on. Him. Head? Should I aim at the head? Oh, yeah, head. Aim, aim right on his eye. Good? Yep. No. <laughs> Bro. No. Did I not hit him that second time? No. Dude, I got so excited that thing was like. <laughs> that thing was huge. Oh, the big <laughs> Dang it, bro. Oh. It hit, but hopefully when we, it swims to the other side when we walk over. Bro. <laughs> Boys, I, I just messed up. Like, I'm just like, 
wobbling and I got it on its head and I thought I had it the two times, but Yappy should have been shooting right there. <laughs> yeah. Now go top right to it. Oh yeah, I see it. Bro, this is your chance right, I'm right here. Down for this this one, is bro. your chance. I'm kneeling down for this one. Right on your arm. If you want to zoom in, you can the six. Let me see. Tell me this is better. Yes or yeah, no? Yeah, that's good. All right. Put it right on his eye. Bro, am I to the right? Give me that thing. Give me that thing. <laughs> you shoot this thing, bro. Bro, you're what is you're, going on, you're bro? a beast, bro. Dang, so that big one that I missed earlier, we came to the other side and it happened to be chilling right here. And I had two shots at it. Like I wasn't even near it. I don't think I was even close to it. And I gave Yappy the gun and I think he hit it, not 100% sure. It's in the water right now, so we're trying to find it, but dude, that's like the significant, like a lot bigger iguana than what we've seen before. You've yeah. seen these little guys, little green ones. That one's like almost tan and a lot bigger. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. We big saw one. another big one and I'm like, nah, dude, I ain't taking a <laughs> shot. You we gotta get a big one down, boy. We got her, we got her. Look at this absolute beast that Yappy just shot. It's about like a four footer, just absolute kegger. <laughs> I saw it and I was like, I was holding the gun and I was like, hey, yo, yeah. You gotta take it. You gotta take it, I'm gonna miss, I'm too excited. And my boy got Smoke. it done. How many is that for me? Three? Yeah, it's about as urban as it gets, brother. <laughs> Whew. Well, we just wrapped up our first walk uh, for iguanas. Took about an hour and a half and uh, learned a lot of things. Uh, number one, I suck at shooting. Number two, Yappy's really good at shooting. Number three, it's super weird hunting in the middle of a city. like. I don't even know how to explain it. This is really weird. We've had so many people come up and talk to us. So many cops come and say hi. Uh, but these iguanas, they're really hard to kill because they run up into the trees and they're so camouflaged. It's like impossible to see them. The easiest shots come when they're sitting on the ground and you can just get them on the bank. But I don't know. We're going to keep driving up this and we might stop at a couple more spots. Uh, if not, I'll see you guys back at the hotel that Yappy and I are staying at. Later. What up, brother? You got the beer? <laughs> Welcome to our crib. Harold did a good job, dude. It's honestly not bad. <laughs> it's really not bad. When when you told me first, you I called you and said, yo, I want to kill some iguanas in Florida. You were like, all right, dope, got it, set up. And I'm like, what? I was like, where are we staying? Do I need to get a hotel? You're like, nope, he already booked it. And not like that never works out. I know. Harold's a beast though. No, dude. he is a beast though. Look at this, man. This is where we're chilling, man. We got two full beds, maybe even but, queen beds. Yeah, I mean, mm. we can put them together or however that. Or put them together. One big bed. Well, guys, we just made it to the old Hampton. I think this is a Hampton Inn. Yeah, Hampton Inn here. And we'll be staying for the next. Yeah, we're staying here for what? Tonight? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Four nights. The ne four nights. Yeah, I'll be here for four nights filming content for you guys. Um, my plan is to have this video up, like the first Florida video. Uh, I think on maybe a Wednesday. Yeah, probably a Wednesday. So like I'll have like maybe one day left still uh, when this goes up. So drop a comment down below. Let us know what type of iguana videos do you want to see and what type of just Florida videos in general do you want to see. This was kind of like a travel day for me and just like a dip the toes in the water kind of day. We had like two hours to hunt 
and ended up going pretty good. Got to learn about the ecosystem here and the animals, and uh, even got to watch my boy Yappy shoot some. And now I, so this is what this is makes a great story because like it wouldn't be cool if I showed up and shot a giant iguana right away. You guys would get kind of bored. So. I think it keeps the suspense going. Will I get a big iguana tomorrow or the next day? You're gonna have to wait and find out. So stay tuned for those videos. But other than that guys, thank you for watching today's video. Make sure to check out my boy Yap. Cause he's a beast. Smoking him. Also, make sure to check out my boy Harold over at Iguana Lifestyles. Again, he guides iguana hunts. He also, uh, if like they're a problem at your, you know, your house, or you're like, like at a Walmart or something, you need him to come take care of it, Harold can do that, he'll be linked down below. Thanks for watching, see you guys on the next Florida video. Oh, God. Come on. You got Dude, it? This is so weird. Yeah. <laughs>